Capricorn. How are you? It's your forest fairy here. Nice to see you again. What's going on with the cast of Capricorns? Cast of Capricorns this week. I'm curious. Oh, I'm saying one more. Just hold on. One more. One more shuffle for the cast of Capricorns. There we go. Let's see. What's going on this week for the cast of Capricorns? Right there. First card out. The star. I got this upside down. Hmm. The star. Capricorn. This feels like a lot of hope. I'm going to say hope for humanity. With this star, this is Aquarius energy. And you are the builders. What are you building for the next generation? For the generations coming up, Capricorn. Let's see what the crossing energy, this is what helps or hinders you, is the Two of Cups. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. And for some of you who are singles, your hope and you're doing the work by healing in preparation for a new Two of Cups. But for those that are in a Two of Cups relationship, this is what helps you. Absolutely. In your higher self, it says patience, Capricorn. Do you see the water bears? And there she is with the water. One foot in, one foot in. Very interesting, right? This is Sagittarius. And it's very interesting that Sagittarius comes before Capricorn and Aquarius after Capricorn. So this is a progression. Independence is your foundation and focus of your own independence and being able to do things by yourself. Now, these are little flowers, but it also very, and it's the first time I've noticed this, it very much reminds me of the Venus symbol in astrology. So, where's Venus in your chart? Mine's in the 12th house. Forgiveness. The page of cups. In the recent past, you have forgiven yourself. Look at all those that, that um, I, I want to say rocky waters, but it's not rocky. It's like um, these emotions run high and you are very calm, cool, and collected. Look at you, Capricorn. Keeping those emotions very much in control. You're looking fabulous too. Look at this. <laughs> in the future, going deep. This is Virgo energy, but going very deep to find that star, that light. In a time of darkness, Capricorn, you could be the light to humanity for a lot of you. How you see yourself. You see yourself as yourself. This is the devil. This is your major. And this is you, Capricorn. And you see yourself as yourself. You know your light side, ooh, I'm hearing it, and your shadow side, and you know it, and you have forgiven yourself for that shadow side, because you know it's a part of you, you have integrated it, you know it, and you love it, as you should, how other people see you, as a golden opportunity. You, Capricorn, are the golden opportunity. Your hope and our fear is that you step up. You are the emperor embracing this I am energy. This is Aries energy. This is I am. I am Capricorn. I am the star. I am. It's funny. I've got both the angel and the devil here. Interesting. And you're the potential outcome. Now, do you notice that the two of cups is here? Two of cups and you've turned away from those two of cups, focusing on these spilt cups. Now, Capricorn, be patient with yourself. If you are still mourning disappointment, if you're still thinking about disappointment, if you're still feeling disappointment, be patient with yourself because this too shall pass. And you will turn around and see the beauty of this two of cups, the bottom of the deck that you might not see the world you are the world, Capricorn. 
This is the ending of a cycle and the beginning of something brand new. So, let's find out. Let's find out. Let's get some clarifiers for Capricorn. I'm loving this. Look at this table. This is beautiful. Beautiful energy. I'm loving this. This is good. <laughs> this is good, Capricorn. All right, the star. Clarify the star, please. And thank you for my Capricorns right there. A decision, a tough decision. This is a swords, the two of swords. There might have been a tough decision that you had to make regarding a disappointment, a relationship, a two of cups. And you chose yourself. Oh, yes. And your men, and for some of you that are single, you're manifesting another two of cups that's going to serve you better. Whoever, whoever disappointed you and left you, Capricorn, you will find someone better. But right now, for some of you, you're independent. You are single. Let's go. Yeah, they want me to go down to the Nine of Pentacles. You might have felt um, before you made this decision, because I see you making the decision, and, and the two of Swords is very Libra energy, but because it's clarifying this star, I'm feeling that you detached from your emotions, maybe from the Two of Cups, to make this decision and to manifest something new. Now, that's for some of you, all of you, but the Hangman, you can um, take a different perspective on maybe being single is fabulous and you love it and you're looking good, feeling good, and you're learning how. You're learning how, some of you, learning how to manifest, learning how to take a different perspective, see it, because um, it was my dad that said, you want to change your life instantly. And he's a Libra son, Scorpio moon. Change your perspective. Your life has changed. It's really simple and yet really hard to do because there's a lot of programming out there, a lot of um, energies telling us that we're not, not good enough, not smart enough, not pretty enough, not thin enough, not, 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 not. That's not true, because here you are with the Nine of Pentacles, and you're taking a look at things from a different perspective. Am I really hung? No. Did I do this? Yes, I did this to myself. Turn my world upside down to take a look at it from a different perspective. That's beautiful energy right there. And you're learning how to do it. This is beautiful. All right. Temperance. Interesting. Be patient because you are manifesting a soulmate. That's what this Two of Cups is. The Two of Cups is patience. Maybe patience with a soulmate that you already have in your life that has disappointed you. Not time and time again. Just once is enough, right? And you know that they are worth your time and effort. For some of you, not all of you. For some of you, you're independent. But also being independent within that relationship, that's very important, especially to Capricorn. And Aquarius, actually, too. The seven. Were you lying to yourself about this soulmate connection? The one that maybe disappointed you. That's for you to know. That's for you to figure out. I also see this Seven of Swords clarifying the temperance as being patient with forgiveness of those that have betrayed you, of those that have hurt you, of those that have walked away from you. With, and when you think about the, that uh, Seven of Swords in the traditional Rider Waite uh, deck, he's sneaking away with swords. That I also see as... Um, intellectual property and so the forgiveness comes from that betrayal that deceit that sneakiness and again there's different levels of it right so let's see what this page of cups is about forgiving yourself the devil oh we got the major and the mon the major and minor the major is the devil the minor is the eight of swords and having to make a really tough decision. 
that maybe you put off, that maybe you didn't, and that you had to forgive yourself for not making the decision or for having to make that decision. I don't know. For You guys know. You Capricorns know. Cross watchers, you know. But this is forgiving yourself first. Not getting trapped into a negative mindset. Lying to yourself about your worth. Maybe reconnecting with your inner child. With those who you love unconditionally. Through those that you manifest through unconditional love and patience and acceptance and healing. This is beautiful, Capricorn. Beautiful. And this is your read. You've shown up twice out of two different decks. Hermit, in the near future, you're being very quiet with this moon about your healing. And this is emotional healing. Ah, oh, the Emperor. You're going to come out of this hermit mode in emperor mode. That's what I see. I see you going deep and really, I'm, I'm also, I'm hearing, this is what I'm hearing. Pay attention to the moon cycles. You are going to come out and it looks, oh, I don't, I'm, I'm seeing more of a, Again, pay attention to the moon cycles. The new moon, I call it the dark moon, but it's um, a full moon, but the dark moon is a new moon, I believe. I call it the dark moon because you can't see it. And I guess that's where this moon card really does, it really speaks about the things that we cannot see, but that we feel. And the hermit is lighting this up. Do you see how he's looking right at that moon and lighting it up with that lantern, which is holding the star. And the star is right there. You could be, and you don't even know it, Capricorn, a star in the making that you are manifesting. Beautiful. How you see yourself. <laughs> That's the hermit. Okay, you're in hermit mode right now, Capricorn. This is in the near future. This is you right now. But I really feel that you are going to come out as the emperor. That's funny. And the nine of cups. And when you come out, you are going to come out not only independent on the material front, but independent on the emotional front. And this is beautiful. This is, comes with the forgiveness right there. Ace of Pentacles, you are the opportunity. People will see that and want to work with you, Capricorn. And it will, look at this. This is people that you enjoy working with, that you celebrate working with, that you love. And because you are the emperor, this could be your business. This could be your podcast. This could be your channel. These, they see you as the opportunity. And they're going to celebrate you as you are celebrating yourself and your successes. This is beautiful. The eight. You have to walk away from that which no longer serves you. Almost detach yourself. Business, you detach yourself emotionally. Don't make emotional decisions, especially when it comes to business. Yes. Or your creativity. This is a creativity card for me. The Knight of Cups is creativity. And there is no compromising. However, I do see in this line right here that you are emotionally mature and independent enough to take criticisms or to take um, suggestions. Guys, I want to constructive criticisms because I lived with as a dancer and a musician with constructive criticisms. You don't learn your choreography properly unless. You listen to your choreographer and take constructive criticisms, especially when you're a musician. All you musicians out there know this. Um, you creators, take constructive con criticisms. That's that's a that's difficult to say right now, um, and that's very interesting. That it's difficult to say because is it hard for you to accept constructive criticism? Do you find it destructive? Interesting. I'm just warning that Emperor Energy can also um, be arrogant. A little bit. I'm not feeling it, but 
It can be. So just watch yourself, Capricorn, that if someone suggests something and you can see the value in it, don't get defensive. Don't get, you know, defensive. That's the only word for it. Five of Cups, disappointment. Let's see what this is about. Moving forward. There could be, ooh, patience. There could be delays in moving forward and getting what you want off the ground, and that's what's disappointing you. That's what I see, yes, because you feel that it is stopped. You've turned your back on those that have stabbed you in the back, those that have ended. This is all ended. The disappointment has ended because it's moving forward. Everything is moving forward once you come out of this hermit mode. So, bottom of the deck, right now it looks as if nothing's happening. You are resting, resting before, ooh, I just heard it, before you take over the world, before you really come out with this emperor. You got two emperors out of two different decks. Devil out of both decks. That's you, Capricorn. That's you, knowing your shadow side, accepting, loving, and forgiving that shadow side, feeling when you go back into that doubt, when you go back into that, you know, um, Betraying yourself. Your thoughts can betray you, Capricorn. It's true. And forgiving yourself for doing these things, for thinking these things, for having these doubts and these fears. But you're taking a rest with this Four of Swords before this cycle completely ends and a new one begins. So, you move forward with this Chariot card. Let's take a look at some angel numbers for you. I see 882. 76, 33. Let's start with 33. Mm. Master Jesus and his angels are with you. This is a sacred time for growth and healing. Now, whenever I get an angel message, for those of you that are new to the channel, when I get an angel message that even mentions Master Jesus, I go to my Jesus book. So I look at the day that I'm recording this. And I read that message. So, let's go. I am leading you along the high road, but there are descents as well as ascents. In the distance, you see snow-covered peaks glistening in brilliant sunlight. That is so goat, Capricorn. You're longing to reach those peaks. That's good. But you must not take shortcuts. Your assignment is to follow me, allowing me to direct your path. Let the heights beckon you onward, but stay close to me, learning to trust me. This is Jesus talking. When things go, quote unquote, wrong, disruptions to your routine, highlight your independence on me. Trusting acceptance of trials brings blessings that far outweigh them all. Walk hand in hand with me through this day. I have lovingly planned every inch of the way. Trust does not falter. When the path becomes rocky and steep, breathe deep droughts of my presence. And hold tightly to my hand. Together we can make it. It so reminds me of that song. Jesus walks. It's a Kanye song. And he does. That's what this message is, that if there have been delays, be patient. If there have been obstacles, really, you will be moving forward when it's time, when it's divine time. God knows when it's time for you to move forward in whatever you're doing, whatever you're planning, whatever you're creating. Capricorn, you know. All right. I see 76. Let's go to 76. Take time to embrace your fears. We got the devil twice, two different decks, and realize that when you are plagued with fear, you are on the verge of a miracle, Capricorn. Trust me on that one. 33 is the next one I see. 33. Master Jesus, again, you got two Jesus. I've already, <laughs> his message for the day, but he's coming back. Master Jesus and his angels are with you. This is a sacred time for growth and healing. And one last one, Capricorn. For any numbers that you see that I do not read aloud, those are personal messages for you. 
Jesus, oh my goodness, this is a read for you, Capricorn. Jesus is with you and wants you to know that he is guiding you. You have light within you that can overcome all the shadows that you face. And isn't that the truth? You got the hermit twice. You got the devil twice. Capricorn, this is your time to shine. And that's what I see for you. And I'm sure I'll see you again. Take care from your forest fairy. Bye for now.